So what's up guys and welcome back to another video and here's another day in Chicago so if you guys are from the area you guys already know how this weather could be about two days ago it was like 48 degrees and now it's snowing again and my sob is under all that snow so I got the trans cooler right there I got the endless gaskets in the back and I have the heat socks with these spark plug wires in there yeah. So here she is now, she's on all four. I just got done putting everything back together and I'm gonna throw all these parts back to the trailblazer and then uh, have the tow truck come and pick it up so I can take it to the shop. So yeah, I'm excited. I got the E-fans there, headers there. Trans cooler there and all the miscellaneous parts there, spark plug wires, gaskets, and all that. And yeah, guys, you just don't know how good it feels to have her down already. I even forgot how low she was. She's pretty low, man. She looks real nice. I'm just uh, ready to go to the shop now and get her all done and fixed. <clears throat> so, one thing I am forgetting for the trailblazer are the spark plugs. So, I'm probably gonna go pick that up right now, and that should be the last thing I need for the as far as the parts to go on the truck. So I just picked up the spark plugs and I ended up getting the TR55 plugs. So I wasn't exactly sure what plugs to get with the upgrades I'm doing to it. And uh, I went on a couple of forums. A lot of people were suggesting the TR6 plugs, but other people were saying that those plugs are good for if you're running boost or nitrous or got a, like some big mods, like a, like a big cam or something. And then the TR6 plugs are colder plugs. I messaged the guy from the shop and he suggested I get the TR55. So that's what I got. So the tow truck's got the SS. It's just one thing after another. We were trying to get it out the garage and uh, I guess he yanked it too much from the driver's side control arm and he ended up breaking and just, you know, twisting it and now it's all offset. Finally made it to the shop, uh, Trailblazer's inside there. And I did bring it to Hot Rods Performance up in Indiana. But yeah, today was a horrible day, horrible experience with the tow service. It was very unprofessional. I figured the tow driver had, you know, the experience and knew what he was doing when he was trying to tow my Trailblazer out the garage. I'll explain more when I get home. Right now, I got about a 45 minute drive back. So I'll catch you guys when I get back. So there you guys have it. No more SS in the garage. Like I was saying, uh, my experience with that tow service was horrible. He ended up hooking up these uh, hooks to the driver's side lower control arm. And he was yanking it that way uh, when i was when i had it turned all the way to the right my passenger side tire was turned all the way so it was clapped all the way and i couldn't turn anymore and then i took a look at the driver's side tire and that one was sticking out a little bit to the left so i jacked it up and i went under and then i seen that the lower control arm was pulled out some and it was hitting the, the inner fender from the driver's side and it was just a horrible experience overall when we finally got to the shop he was trying to unload my SS, was backing it up and off the uh, flatbed. He ended up scraping my exhaust tip and the way it was just angled coming down, it pushed that in, messed up my exhaust as well. I pushed it in a little bit and it scraped it. He said that he was going to cover it. He was going to call the shop tomorrow to get more information about the damages. And she will be back here Monday driving and running and I can't wait to go pick her up. But yeah, that was it for today's video. 